Annabelle, welcome. And this week we have our special guest, Coco. She's staying with me for a week. Um, if you watched some of my very first vlogs, she was in them a lot. Um, but she doesn't live with me now, so I don't get to see her as much. But she will be in the studio this week. So I finished making all my pottery, so I'm waiting for them to dry and in the meantime I'm going to be working on like prints, stickers and tote bags as well. Um, I've pretty much like drawn all the designs for the prints and stickers and I've ordered the tote bags. I just need to get out my Cricut and actually make the stickers and print art prints. I've been procrastinating a lot but I really need to get onto it for the next shop update and Coco will be here to help me she's just wanting a cuddle right now but yeah hope you enjoy this week's vlog so one of the things I really need to do is test my sticker paper I've done this little mug drawing for like a freebie sticker just a small one and so I think I'll use this to test the sticker paper because I've been trying to find paper that I can get from Australia it's kind of hard to find um, and then a lot of artists that follow are from the US so I can't really use what they're using I'll put this onto my computer and make the like outline for it um, and then print and cut Not tonight. I don't feel good enough to put up a fight I hate when I'm still up to see the morning light. when everyone's on earth but I'm a satellite when I can't climb And I'm falling and my landing on your mind I've got my whole damn life but I still don't have time Was just starting to see but now I'm going blind But it's all the same You'll always find the blame when situations change And I know you'll try You'll try to find me, but I'll be up in space So why's each night a hit and run? Starting over just to be done I don't care if you ignore it I'm always in your orbit I know you're having fun But I need you more than I need it anyone I'm ready to explore it And I'm always in your orbit I'm on the floor from knocking on your door Can't wait to see what else the planets have in store I have everything I want and I'll still ask for more but it's all Hi, so as you saw before I was doing that drawing date with Jusu and I was a little bit shy I didn't talk that much but it was good I haven't done like observational or like drawing from a reference picture for quite a while so and also doing like traditional sketchbook work as well I haven't done that um, and this is how it turned out yeah I don't know I don't know if I love it like I used this new marker I got from Muji which is why I did like the black outline and then just colour pencils I don't know, I think it's just different but I liked using the marker because it was like quite loose um, and you don't really need to make perfect lines with it but I don't know, what do you think? or maybe like a different subject would be more my style but yeah and 
Then I also just got this big box which has my tote bags. Okay. Let me sit here and watch. So the person who did them for me came and dropped them off. Ooh. It's definitely like bigger in real life like compared to on the screen I think this one is the one where she accidentally got ink on the back Yeah, I think that's that bit here. This is her logo. Um, called TPPV, the Print Project Van. Um, if you want to check her out. And this is the front. <laughs> this is my, like, You're the Tiger Girl illustration I did. And I wanted to have it in like a brown or cream color. This ink color is called Venetian Red actually. So it's more of like a warm brown, which I really like. I was worried with like the photos of the ink that it would be too red, but it actually looks perfect, I think. Like chocolatey. Coco is just sitting here. It's quite a big bag, I think, which I don't have, like this size, and it's like a square tote bag. I feel like I'm going to use this for everything. These were screen printed in Melbourne, just by someone I knew through like mutual friends, through uni kind of, um, and she has her screen printing business so i was really happy that i could make it very locally and also support a small business rather than ordering from like early big company these are all very special and there's very limited amount so if you would like one you can get one on my shop i would assume when this video is out, it will be available. Um, yeah, because I've been wanting to do tote bags for a long time, but I've always been like really hesitant on what design people would like and whether people would buy it because you have to like invest in getting them made first. So yeah, I hope that you guys like it. Good morning, today it's Wednesday and I finished up doing all the prints after a lot of test printing. So I have this butterfly print, um, this froggy 
I don't know if this one would look better with the border. I might try that next time. And then I have this one. This is like the same print on the thank you cards, but I just thought maybe people might want a bigger one. And the one with the girl eating fur. I have this one. I really like um, how sort of the paint strokes look on the paper. And then I still have these two and I still can't decide because like this one's more like the original but then this one is more warm which I like and I think kind of suits my other prints better but I don't know I have time to think about it and then I have my tote bag care cards which I like as well it's on this speckled paper and I think that's all the prints I'm going to do and I'm just waiting still on the sticker paper um, I'm at work on I want to do like a tattoo flash and then a little tattoo ticket illustration for the listing um, maybe some other drawing today because I think all I really would have left to do is shoot the products um, and I might wait until it's not so overcast um, for some good lighting and I also have a bit of a plan for the tote bag I'll probably like go out and shoot it um, I think getting some nice shots of it like out and about would be nice so yeah and I'm probably gonna do my shop opening or update next week so I've still got like another week to do the shoots and everything um, so I can kind of chill for now do some drawing um, yeah I think you're cute, can I hit you up on Instagram? Cause you are the only thing I'm thinking of And I can't stop it, I'm wishing you and I were talking But even if we talked, I wouldn't know what I would say My social awkwardness would just get in the way And maybe I'm a little bit shy, but I'll try my best to compromise Cause oh, I think I really like how you're always staring at your feet Pictures only tell so much So I'm thinking of a message to send you But it's hard for me to tell if it's too long or not enough But talking to you is all I want And I'm trying hard to take a chance And send you the message I'm hovering over sent But it's so out of press it Maybe I'm scared that you might hate me But I'll try not to mess it up I don't wanna confess too much I just wanna get to know a little more about my Insta crush Oh, what's the best way to start? Cause if I'm not careful, I might lay it on my heart Out of my chest too fast But I really wanna make the conversation last So I'll start off slow with something really simple Like, hey, hello, I kinda like your dimples Wait, that's so dumb, but I can't think straight I've been thinking really long and now it's getting late Oh, but even if I'm sleeping, I'm up all night Just thinking of the words I wanna say you. And no, I don't wanna sound creepy But most of the time I fall in love It's with someone who laughs the way you do
on your cheeks Cause baby in your absence life is boring So I'll never leave So it's Saturday and this morning I went out to run some errands and I also picked up these flowers for today. I'm going to be shooting with them and I just got them from a florist down the street and they are so beautiful. I wasn't really thinking of these kind of colours, I was thinking more like warm colors, pink, orange, yellow, but this is what she picked out and I was like, it's so pretty anyway and I love the, I think these ones are called strawberry fields, they look like little strawberries, so cute and it's such a pretty bunch of flowers, so I'm excited to use these for this shoot with the tote bag so I'm thinking of putting these in there um, and then I also want to shoot my prints should be pretty simple photos I'm thinking just like maybe against like the wall here yeah and I have this blue cloud background um, yeah, I don't know why the print is like horizontal and why it isn't like the long way vertical if that makes sense, I don't know but I think it should be okay to shoot like from the waist up kind of shots or or like just probably not full body shots I think anyway that's what I'm going to be doing today so better get shooting look through the photos and see um, I think I pretty much got all the photos for the listings done um, I just need like some group shots of the stickers and prints I think will be nice um, but yeah I think I can probably just do that tomorrow um, I'm kind of tired and like it's not urgent but yeah, I'm gonna wanna announce that I'm updating my shop next week. So I gotta get these photos edited and done so I can post them. Also got some reels as well that I'm hoping have turned out. Um, but yeah, I think a successful day. And I'm looking forward to this shop update. I'm hoping to have like Prince's stickers as a more permanent part of my shop 
to sort of have them always in stock. Obviously with ceramics, it's like, it's only gonna come around every collection and there's only one of each. But with these, it will always be in my shop. But with the totes as well, there aren't that many. And I don't know if I would print this design again. So I'll probably see you guys tomorrow. So I'm updating my shop today, which is the day I'm posting this video as well. So if you'd like to check it out, I'll leave a link down below if you want to get some goodies from me. And I just want to say thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed seeing the whole process of getting ready for this shop update. And next time I'll be working on my pottery again. So I will see you in the next one. Bye. Now that I've lost you, I'm missing my life.